bio-based plastic alternatives. They mean good, but do damage. There are many different plastics, for example, polypropylene. But there are also bio-based alternative plastics that, contrary to popular belief, aren't all biodegradable. These bio-based plastics can't be naturally composted, but there are circumstances in industrial composting that must be given for composting to occur. Plastics that are defined as biodegradable are made up of molecules that break down naturally, but there is no time scale specified for this degradation. This could take many years. Compostable plastics that are certified by European standards must break down in less than 12 weeks. But there is a catch. It can only be composted under industrial composting conditions. Industrial composting can only be done if we have the right balance of moisture, air, microorganisms and temperature, which is 60 degrees Celsius or more. The main difference between natural and industrial composting is the temperature. Natural temp compost only reaches 40 degrees Celsius. However, 60 degrees Celsius is necessary for the breakdown of bio-based plastic alternatives. Bio-plastics won't break down under any other condition. To explain this issue, we are using the example of Sudpak, who are one of the main producers of food-grade packaging. They're developing a package made out of polylactic acid, which is a substrate of corn and sugarcane. We're working with renewable raw materials like um, bio-based and or biodegradable uh, material. So this on the one hand side and other, on the other hand we're also working with paper. Polylactic acid, also known as PLA, is made from renewable biomass, which is typically fermented plant starches like corn, sugarcane, cassava and beet pulp. PLA can be composted but only through industrial composting, yet it is not biodegradable according to European standards because it is not able to decompose outside of artificial composting. At the moment, the public believe they not only can but should throw these bio-based products into the compost bin. This is terrible for the waste system due to these plastic alternatives not breaking down at all. Bio-based products contaminate the entire waste load and therefore contaminates nature itself. If we use this compost to grow our plants and produce, it is contaminated. This means we and plant animals are suffering from these products. Even if these plastic alternatives end up in a yellow bag or a recycling bin, they are harmful. The sorting system recognizes them as plastic and they're contaminating the recycling material and the system itself. Furthermore, they are not only bad for the environment, but can also be more expensive. Since there's not much material on the market, they're more expensive and our customer they need to pay as well higher prices than in the end. So they're not cheaper than conventional plastic. However, research on bioplastics continues. It is quite possible that in the near future there will also be alternative plastics that are completely degradable by natural means. Until then, packaging made of bioplastics are more of a marketing gimmick than a useful product.